Okay. So let's do some training videos for like outside of Arrow Nav, or like stupid, and we'll train you to Arrow Nav so, so you have some kind of verbiage that you guys can agree to, and like, <laughs> let's go attack some stupid. Right, okay, so here's what happens. Um, uh, humans, like, right, uh, as they lose their way, their society, their uh, structural integrity of what was and what is now, as they make these gigantic leaps and monuments for themselves to just legend of, like, nobody gives a shit, it just causes management more problems as this engine just keeps chugging along, right? Like, so you have a mistake... Back here, right? You stole people's children. You brought them on your land. That was one stupid. Then they were doing some work, and we argued because you wouldn't return them, but whatever. And then this is America's side. I don't know what USSR was doing over on that side. And then we got, like, I mean, it's like, and then then they needed rights and freedom for, I uh, think, an argument with the sphincter, right, over some money or whatever with Russia. So, like, yeah, they're always, like, a problem. Anyway, so uh, as we go... It just keeps chugging along, and then they get angry and white sphincter, and they throw a Tootsie Roll onto the Americans that don't see the Tootsie Roll coming. And then all of a sudden, that Tootsie Roll explodes like a grenade, and it's like, holy fuck, now we have equal rights. Okay, but that's going to be a problem for, like, our own nav department, like, keeping an eye from binoculars. Like, we're not coming on shore. No, no, what you got going on now? Like, you gotta go, go clean that up. Maybe, we'll, like, maybe we'll come save you if you really need help. We're, we're gonna go check on Russia, you know? So it's, like, kind of, that's how, like, it works in the sense of, like, nobody really wants to come on land because you fucking really dirtied your carpet, but whatever. And then you cause real issues for, like, a global society of, like, uh, right, because then all of a sudden now they're here with, like, no restrictions and, like, dangerous science and you just keep educating them. <gasps> so here's what really, really happens. Like, the word educate, which, again, in outer non-white languages, although, I know, you know what, they didn't even have a word for the word white <laughs> before in, like, uh, the Mongol, like, buffer of Nepal and India, right, yeah, they didn't have, a, have any of the English words, they were never on an English channel, so I never had to, like, actually try to, like, use as many words to define myself, it was quite easy to use the pun punt technology between lower level ugly stupid and our, of our white colors of like they're a little mixed with others and they don't quite qualify for breeding material, right? And then we had like the smart, like, I mean, whatever, that's just the way it was. So I don't know what to tell you, but now I have idiots from several generations in some kind of like tunnel of like, we've got to fuck society and the whole fucking world up, like really digging in and like moving forward. Cause like the last Tootsie Roll that fucking fell on a American society from Sphincter over in like London, I mean, they haven't, my, my, my parents' generation, the generation before, all they had to do was come pick the starlings up and, like, welcome them into the royal family partnership. And, like, everybody would have been born fine. The tax would have went down because we would have been talking common sense again. And But, no, instead, you put some lower-than-worthy genetic being Philip, Elizabeth, and Charles in some kingdom you call a kingdom but no it's not because there's no king because <laughs> the starlings are on the floor they're the real kings I, I mean you get this I mean you're like uh, I don't know what tunnel you live in but like currently it's my time and space tunnel but you're like really digging like new trenches that is making it hard for like Arrow Neff and White to like overcome in vernacular and like with bullets apparently because I, I think I, I don't know how they started dysfunctioning but like I think they started listening like did they come on? I know that they're birthed on land, but like, well, I don't know because they couldn't even scoop me up and get me out. Although I've held on to my, I'm not giving in to your fucking version of 2.0. So whatever. Uh, so all this generation since I've been born has been is like uh, a montage that you've built, which is not allowed because now God's still on the floor 
And I got legends of like, oh my God, Bill Gates, he built the computer in his garage and he built like this big empire. He's a billionaire, he's a philanthropist and he just throws money at people for good things. What the fuck, Bill? Dangerous science, you know what you did? Oh my god, you split, you split time and space. Thanks for that. You let the fucking gooks, like, really trigger in, and you're just like, well, I didn't like that you didn't like John Lennon. Yeah, there's bullets for that kind of stupid. Because you're a dangerous motherfucker on land. I've got, like, good people elsewhere who have no fucking problem, like, blowing your version of stupid off the planet. Oh, yeah, I can't get them anymore. I don't know. They uh, apparently threw all the fucking fucking uh, yellow side of, like, dis dysfunction in, like, New York City, and they locked me out of somewhere smart, so now I gotta yell on my fucking cell phone, going, like, uh, hello, anybody white live anywhere ever? Like, are they awake and alive? Because, like, I know, like, I, well, actually, I know my starling is awake and alive somewhere from male to male with, a, with the F.E. iron in the middle. I mean, like, <laughs> we got work to do, like, if it's just the two of us and the rest of them have all lost their fucking mind how are we gonna do this? <gasps>